Hi guys, welcome to today's vlog. Welcome to this journey as I transform this open kitchen, empty kitchen into two sections where I put a counter in between so that we have a sitting area for the people that want to sit in and the cooking section. So if you're interested, continue watching. So if you haven't seen how the table and everything was worked out, please go back to the video that I'll leave in the description. It will be the first thing. And so I am using the same guy and my husband has been helping me collecting these pallets. So we are turning all these pallets <laughs> into a counter. So this is what we have. This is just a demo to see how it works. It's not holding on anything. It's just leaning against the wall. So he was just giving me the idea of how it looks and I was also just like we were just getting to agree what I want and maybe if it doesn't work then he also gives his reason and so forth. So we went ahead and added three four more pallets so at this point we're just holding them in place just to have a vision of what it will look like when it's all done. Good morning. Yeah, it's like 11 now. So today is September what? <laughs> I know it's the second weekend. Maybe the 13th, the 14th. I don't even know the date today. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, so it's another morning uh, with the construction. I think this is the last thing that we are doing. So the counter is getting back to life. It's, it's speaking form it actually today we are finishing so the guy just sent me to go to and guess i'm sending disc so it's like every time you want to save some coins something comes up so this month of september i saved nicks. i didn't save anything at all i didn't do anything for myself so it's just every two dollar that I get is going in there because honestly uh, the cooking is not going very well either so all this I'm surviving is on scones so that's how um, effective or how what's the word those scones are making my life you know it's just those small five dollars from here and there and then when you put it all together it's like it makes something for you it's like uh, if i put in a pan the, the full my recipe that i use it gives me like 30 scones 30 scones equals to what 150 a million dollars though they don't get uh bought all of them uh, you can have maybe 10 out of those scones that are not being bought but at the end of the day really i still make something because 5 times 15 is 75 dollars times 2 so that is the recipe that I use but on days like Friday when I know like maybe people not buy the Fridays and the Mondays then I just make half the recipe which is just 15 scones they give me 75 dollars from that 75 dollars I can buy my electricity I can buy because also one thing that is eating me up on this project is electricity uh, if you are in an industrial area, the tariffs are different, so $30 electricity will not give you your normal average, I don't know how much it is, $30, but like yesterday I had to top up $30 because it was like, I was like on one point something units and then I just totally forgot to buy earlier, so I just had a 30 bucks on me then when I was at the service station. So I bought $30. Um, no, I wasn't using, we we're not using this, I was with my husband, so the receipt is in the other car. I got like seven units, literally, seven units. It's just unfortunate I don't have the, I forgot the, um, the receipt. Seven units. When you, when I buy hundred dollars, it usually gives me, what, 20 something? Like, that's just how crazy it is then. So now I see really why I was really full time running on a loss when I was using a hot plate because you know a hot plate doesn't joke with electricity. I just used to wonder like I just thought like yeah it was the hot plate that was eating too much electricity but all in all it was I just noticed that thing this year of the, the units that are different when and I called me 
<laughs> I called everyone. Because the first time I bought the airtime, I bought it from FNB. I used FNB. I called from FNB until the last person in city of Vendok. I think that day I called about even six guys in city of Vendok just channeling me from one person to another, one person to another. I... Oh, hi, yeah, yeah, this place also. So look at what I'm doing. This place here. It's a scrapyard, so you get all the in types of inconveniences here. The road is always busy like this. So. And I'm going to build it. Just look. This is the whole scrapyard, and these are the people ready to sell the scrap. I also want to run this thing. This thing is man. And you hardly work. I think that's the part. You hardly work. People are coming bringing these things to you. Others know the values. Others don't know the value of these things. This is the big this is a business, guys. You can start. If there's no scrap in your place, please consider starting this scrap story. They will pick for you. They will pick for you and bring for you. Oh, this place is unpacking here today so I just want to get those discs then I go and see what is going on because it's like he wants to finish today I passed him okay this one here is one So yeah, guys, there's a business idea. On a Saturday, just like this, I've just given you a business idea. Scrap, start that business. If you need your town, there's no one doing that scrap story. <laughs> Let's go and buy the things we are supposed to. You know, I feel very happy today and free. Ah, for 10 minutes, I'm alone. The boy is with his father. So let me just have time of my life. Just, just. Can we laugh here together, guys? You know that feeling? You know you have money, ne? You get at the till. You remember where you put the money, but you check that the money is not there. I was about to have a heart attack of my life. I know at home I took out the money, put it in the bag. But when I got here, there's less money. Can't <laughs> I put it in the other pocket? Then the money that I saw was was not the money that I was looking for, ha! Huh? Then later when I checked inside the bag and it was there. Oh, almost had a heart attack. You know how embarrassing that can be? So we got the discs. This, these are the third ones now. Like, so far I used to say this. So. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, They're very serious. Then it's almost done. <sighs> so these pallets were enough, no? Yeah. is happy so very happy so this is just like a demo to see how it will look like but yeah again there it's like a counter kind of situation to go all the way up 
and what he's doing now is just the door. That's what he's busy with for that time. I could never be happy. I could never be happy and proud of myself. Second day, we are going to the shop. We're gonna see how far the guy uh, did and clean a little. So this is what we have. Oh, at least he moved the table this time. This is doable. So this is what we have. But yo, it's a lot of work because look at the dust. <laughs> the dust is literally everywhere. But this is the work, guys. This is the work that we have done. So I think these are the leftover pallets. So we bought that. We nails bought that also. You saw me buying those ones. I am quite impressed. But my fear now is. Oh, but it's quite stable because I'm moving it. And it is stable. Wow. I didn't expect it to be like Ooh. So this is just we will extend it here. Because I feel like but I don't know. Because according to him when he sent me the video, he was like maybe I might want to put something here. You know, so we don't want obstruction. So this is still a few pallets left. There's a few pallets left, but you can see the dust. Bruh. The dust is everywhere, <laughs> literally everywhere. He told me I tried to clean, but yeah. He had no choice but to work in here because my cable also broke. So, yeah. We never found it. Yeah. I came prepared when I was just outside there, I just did this like let me protect my hair my hair was the first thing I am talking too much like this is because I don't even know where I'm starting where to start <laughs> the cleaning <laughs> Ooh. Jesus. but I'm really proud and I didn't even think it will take this much work so here it's close the idea is to put the wheels so that it's movable you see this space that we have here so if i have guests and i want to use that table there we can shift it to this so that people can sit nice over there and have their meals over there so that's why we are working on two wheels I don't know how it worked, but for me, I feel like maybe it will not balance very well. So he was maybe supposed to add support all the way on this thing. Like maybe something here that goes down and there also. But yeah, when it comes, then we will agree to disagree. But I am happy instead. So let's get into cleaning. So if you have watched this far, thank you so much. Please consider subscribing. This series is an ongoing um, series. So after this cleaning and everything else, we still have to decorate the place and upgrade it here and there. So for you to see all that, you need to be subscribed. So guys, consider subscribing. 
share this video to any mompreneur or someone who you think can be inspired um on this video i'm all about vlogs starting small businesses uh, motherhood and just in between motherhood and businesses ideas for mamas um business ideas how you just how i spend my realistic day with my child to, in the business just so that you see you're not alone it's doable um you, you, you don't need to you know rely or wait on someone else to give you money you can do it yourself and if i can do it uh, trust me you can do it too i'm literally at this point i'm still running this business by myself um i've shared videos before this of how the days looks like uh, with my son or how we, what we sell in a day how much we can make in a day and stuff like that so guys just subscribe and be motivated you know even if you don't have a baby it's just like a woman thing <laughs> if you need inspiration if you need if you're unemployed i mean i am unemployed i've been unemployed for the past five years but i have to find i had to find something to do for myself to bring in income to help myself and my family though i don't contribute much but i believe this is a process i'm building up um of uh, success doesn't come overnight but in due course i know this place will be profitable at the moment i'm not making much but i can see i have my vision i know where i'm going and i believe and i know it will happen so it just requires determination working hard i know you have been out in between but yeah guys we just have to push um these days i also just don't feel like waking up but yeah like i'm saying you really just need to push and if we push each other you giving comments leaving down comments in the comment description uh <laughs> comment section it also helps me wake up and just do more content for you guys and also just go to this uh office of mine <laughs> and just be more productive so if i do that i can now uh, vlog that content and if you watch it you also get motivated and inspired so it's a win-win situation we are just helping each other let's just build a community so the sawdust that you see that are collected in that plastic i believe it's sawdust because it's yeah so i'm just going to put it in my garden you see what i'm talking about so i just have this simple everyday life that you just need to see that you need to be motivated there's also a video on this channel where i shared on how you can also just start a small business just by cultivating vegetables so make sure that you go and check it out you know just be inspired with that all being said guys make sure that you are subscribed turn on the notification so that you do not miss out on any of my videos of this upgrade i don't know what we're going to call this uh, but please do leave suggestions of what we're going to call this series in the comment section love you guys